What did Raheem, my brother, say? We're living like we're bulletproof. Bang, 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 bang. Living like we're bulletproof. They steal all the money. Good on the sale. Yes. How y'all doing? I decided to uh, step on the camera today. Um, and say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, family. I hope y'all all staying safe out there. Welcome, welcome to this little corner section of the internet that we try to deal with our emotions and our mentals, and we like to call it the mental house, okay? So I want to welcome you first and foremost to the mental house. Appreciate you for being out there. And today, I'm going to talk briefly, briefly, about the war. Because I hear a lot of uh, black people, just even, even myself included, um, and we've talked about our end game in terms of Russia and how we should not even, some of us, I'm not guilty of this, shouldn't even pay attention to the travesty and the, and the hurt that's happening over in um, Ukraine. First of all, I thank God that I'm a musician. Uh, I'm an artist. And with that being said, I think artists see the world just a little bit different. A little bit more open. We know what clan we belong to. And number one is the human family. We're not birds. We're not um, we're a human animal. And so once you understand significantly where your role is in humanity, mm, well, you have to look at this whole process as um, no one wins. In war, no one wins. It, it's, it's regardless of your political affiliation. It's regardless of if you um, are black or white. None of those things actually matter. When you see bloodshed and when you see children and humanity, people that are human, that are just human suffering. Because a lot of people think, you know, and I don't know why these this this world has designed the face of poverty to be black, but it's not. And if we bought if you've bought into the propaganda, then you've bought into that. But your brothers and sisters over in uh, uh, Latvia or Lithuania or Shuskin or these people are humans. Um, and there is a connection to just in the human family for anybody that considers themselves a human being. Okay. Now that does not mean that I'm not pointing out and I'm not seeing the atrocity that they're doing to my personal clan, which happens to be black folk, people who are brown, people who are melanated, right? I look at it as damage to the human family. Again, I don't want to be like them. I don't want to be like the people who are um, ruthless, who are racist, even in times of adversity. I'm not aspiring to be like that. If I had a, a choice um, and uh in fact, if I had a choice, maybe I would put all black people on the train first. Would that make y'all feel any worse or better? So it's, it's, it's those kinds of tangibles that make you say, okay, you know, I can't get upset. I mean, because if I was in that position, would I have put them all off? I probably would have. Okay, so now self-preservation is the first law. They're going to try to preserve white folk. 
just like we should try to preserve black folk. And then together we all make up the human family. We don't preserve ourselves. Don't sit back and get all sentimental because Africans are being mistreated and put off the uh, 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 trains and stuff in, in uh, Lithuania or, or Ukraine, whatever. Again, because if you was afforded the same opportunity, what would you do? Would you put let the white black people get on first? Or would you sit up on the train with a bunch of uh, uh, Europeans from Ukraine? It's a hell of a uh, uh, thought, ain't it? When you put a different spin on it. Like I said, I'm talking to myself as well as anybody else. What I do know is that Putin um, does uh, uh, resemble a modern day Adolf Hitler. At this point, because he's over there bombing civilians and doing things. I mean, that's all you doing. That's all you doing is bombing apartment buildings and, and health clubs. And, and I mean, come on, dude. That's just so what is showing me is you are a tyrant. And I ha am alone with Lindsey Graham. If Muammar Gaddafi got it. If Saddam Hussein got it. If Noriega got it, then you cannot allow this white man, European man, to run amok like this. And I know you tread likely because of what he might do with this arsenal, but I don't know if his countrymen are fully behind him in this war. Come to find out, a lot of them didn't even know that they were in a war. When they, when the people talk to each other, when the Ukrainians talk to the Russian soldiers and they find out, I don't know, we thought we were just on a convoy exhibition. We didn't know. Okay. We don't know what we're doing. We're waiting on a, a, a another signal as to what should happen next. Well, then y'all should know that there's a lot of bullshit in the game. Right? So what I'm saying, y'all, is to make this video uh, short and to get it to the point is, Nobody wins in war. Nobody. I don't care where you at. Human suffering is human suffering. Pain is pain. Oh, of course, our people may have a monopoly on it because, as I always say, there's no place here the way they've constructed this world for the Son of Man to lay his head. And y'all who get it, Y'all understand what I mean. Those of y'all who don't, don't even bother. But at the end of the day, it doesn't diminish who we are. It doesn't, it doesn't diminish who we are. So, um, I want to say Vladimir Putin's time is going to be up soon. I just want to make sure he don't take the whole world with him. Uh, because I think it was James Baldwin said that the fire next time is going to uh, destroy us. There's a lot of references in spiritual passages that talk about the end of the world coming with fire. A lot of the Mayans thought that the white man had 6,000 years to rule. Their time's up. So we have to think uh, more efficiently. Um, I think, and I also think, uh, the, the, the human family is at a point in humanity, in history, where we're going to either have to learn to get along in spite of our differences, or we're going to let somebody like Vladimir Putin destroy us all. And that's just my humble opinion. So I want to know what y'all think out there. You know, um, I'm glad to be back. Glad to see you guys. Uh, I've, ha I've had so much work. I've been uh, 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 been so busy and um, trying to pull things together. You guys um, pack, and pull things, and clean, and 
Uh, so there's a lot been going on, but I sure missed you guys. And uh, I hope to do a few more videos today. Okay. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share because y'all already know that YouTube is taking the subscribers. They fluctuate. They go up and down. They go up and down. But I appreciate anybody under the sound of my voice that has a chance to listen to it, be it one, be it a hundred. Thank you for listening. And leave your comment below. Okay? And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.